You have items that you have to carry with you every day, no matter what you're doing. If so, you're in the right spot. Let's talk everyday carry. Welcome to Barbarian Bar. So I want to talk about EDC, everyday carry, and I want to talk about my EDC specifically here for the month of April, what I've been carrying so far, and uh, I'm going to talk about what's in my pockets versus what's in my pouch. Two different things here, the things that are in my pockets, I just can't go without, I've got to have them on me here, and my pouch is going to be something that I want to have those items, but I can leave them on my desk at work. I can leave them in the truck and put them in the center council if I'm going somewhere or just throw them in the passenger seat, depending on what I'm doing here. But before I get into this, I want to tell a quick story here. We had snow over the weekend, and we were coming off an 80-degree weather week. It was beautiful out. The kids have been able to play outside. Well, we woke up, and there was snow on the ground. So my buddy calls me up and says, hey, um, let's hang out. Let's bring the kids here. He's a farmer, so he's got plenty of sheds with cemented floors with heat in there and he says let's hang out bring the bicycles for the kids to play with awesome sounds great so we load up the kids head out to the farm and we're gonna hang out at just like casual day you know have some hot dogs have some burgers you know, enjoy the inside since it's cold outside well as an edc enthusiast if you're anything like me you always want to find that time to flex or use your knife so we're hanging out, and my buddy is over there in the corner cutting up a hot dog with a plastic fork. This is my time to shine. I walk over there. I, I'm not going to say I didn't walk slow, because I did. I walked fast. And I come over there, and I said, hey, don't use that plastic fork. Use my knife. So I hand him my knife, and my buddy's like, oh, thanks. So he opens it up. He's having a little trouble because it's a frame lock. And he's like, how do you open it? So I grab it and I show him, you know, and I flick it open. I said, hey, yeah, check this out, use it. And me going out with my buddies, I've already stropped the knife. I've got it nice and sharp. So he grabs it, cuts the hot dog up, and hands it back to me. Really no, like, uh, oh, wow, look at this. This is cool. You know, he's not, like, flipping it, looking it over, and, you know, whatever. So he hands it back to me, and I said, what do you think of that? He goes, yeah, nice and sharp. Average answer, so no big deal. Well, I have to go in and be like, dude, check this out. Titanium frame lock. Flip it out. Bowler M390. You know, and I'm like, I'm ecstatic about this, you know, because this is my grail knife. My buddy's like, cool. What's M390? What does that mean? Just fully depleted. And I'm just like, ah, you know, that feeling of just. Pure excitement because you got to use your knife and you got to hand it to a friend and it just takes it all out of you because he has no idea that you know the Ramon Chavez is your grail knife he doesn't know what this cost he doesn't know what the steel is or anything like that it just cut a hot dog up and it was great for him well transition you know I'm depleted I still love my Ramon Chavez still my grail knife but uh that's the first thing that's in my pocket. I'm going to put it back in my pocket because that is my user. That is something that I use. I use my Chavez. I buy these tools to use. I'm not just going to keep them in the safe. So if I post pictures out on Instagram or I post them anywhere and you see scratches, you see, you know, dirt, maybe some oil because I just, you know, a little uh, KPL or whatever in there and the, so that pivot's nice and smooth. That's because I use the knife. Next thing in the pocket is my cell phone. It sits in the same pocket as my knife, my front right pocket. My cell phone is a Google Pixel 6. It's not the latest and greatest phone out there. I know iPhone 14 has got an amazing camera. It does this, it does that. This has done everything I need it to do. And I love the camera on this thing here. And if you want to see what the camera looks like, go over to my Instagram. Check out the pictures because 90% of those pictures are with the Google Pixel. And... Uh, no shameless plug, but definitely check it out. Uh, but that's the phone here. I may switch over to Apple someday here. Apple can persuade me if they, you know, they go back to USB-C like they got with the iPad Pro. I've got one sitting in front of me here. I love the iPad Pro, so I'm not against Apple. I just, I just, I'm happy with my Android phone here. 
So that's what's in my front right pocket. My front left pocket, I carry my wallet. I no longer sit on my wallet. I'm not carrying that big, giant leather thing that, you know, you sit on, hurt your hip. Something somebody can just pull out of your pocket full of just, you know, your receipts, just business cards that you're never going to call the people anyways. <laughs> so I thought, let's go minimalist. This is the Trayvax wallet, the Summit. This thing is pretty solid. I don't have to worry about it bending my cards. I can keep them in my front left pocket, stays there. I'm not taking it out of my back pocket just to sit in the truck so it doesn't hurt my hip. And for getting on the dash, you know, I'm always going to have that on me. This thing's got a few different things here. It's got a scraper, got a bottle opener somehow. I never use that. Everything's got a bottle opener these days. I did add the lanyard to make it easy to pull in and out of my pockets. But this has got, you know, just the, uh, the essentials. I've got my identification, my CCD card. My uh, credit cards, of course. I've got even got a card in there to unlock the door at my children's daycare. You know, that's a great piece. Go back in the pocket because, like I said, I don't want to forget if I go somewhere and I need to pay for anything. The other thing is kind of an honorable mention that's always on me. And uh, I put it on my desk here, but uh, it's my keys. I uh, gotta have keys. And uh, it's very EDC thing, you know, something you every day, unless I'm not driving, of course. Uh, another lanyard to match the wallet. I got a snake knot on there. I've got my Ford Raptor key, my house key, and this Gerber multi-functional tool. I use that to clip onto my belt loop. If I don't want it in my actual pocket, it's got a little pry bar on there. Of course, another bottle opener. It's got a bit driver uh, holder, I guess you could say. If I want to carry bits around, a screwdriver. Really, like I said, it's more just to have a multi-tool, something to keep my keys on my belt loop if I don't want them in my pocket. So that's what's in my pockets, what's on my person. Those are the things that I just can't go without. My wallet, my knife, my phone, and my keys. Yeah, I guess I could probably go without them if I'm not driving. But that was actually what was on me today, so why not just be real about it and show you what's actually in my pockets. But let's transition over to the pouch. This is something that I will carry with me if I'm going somewhere. Um, just like this weekend, I went over to my buddy's place. I threw this in the truck with me, threw it in the center council. It's something that I don't know if I'm going to need this, but I don't necessarily have to have it on my person. This is uh, a pretty essential piece. If you don't have a pouch yet, um, maybe I'll convince you with the things that I have in here to get yourself a pouch. So let's talk about the pouch here that I have today. This is the Dickinson Trading Post pouch. It's got loop on one side and a full panel on the other side. What's cool about a pouch is you can customize it. If you're like me, you will probably get addicted to Rees, patches, Rees, Ranger Eyes. These things are you know, all over the place here. I love being able to you know, show off my friends show off the people who are part of the EDC community. And plus, today I'm going with black and white to customize this, personalize it myself here. And it's got a zipper on this side, got a big zipper, clam style on this side. Up on this front pocket here, I've got my band-aids, you know, you never know if you're gonna cut yourself. Always having a sharp knife, so you never know. What else I got in there? I got some uh, alcohol wipes. Uh, what else here? Some Pepto, you never know. No, just kind of a little mini first aid. There's a bunch of other, you know, first aid stuff in there. Got kids, you know, obviously I've sharpened my knife quite a bit. You never know. And then in the clam style here, let's take a peek at the inside. So in the inside of my pouch, um, first thing you see is my multi-tool. I got my Gerber. That's a one-handed tool. To me, that's important. I'm out fishing and I need it. I want to take my hand off there. So my Gerber multi-tool is one-handed. Pretty big fan of that. Another thing I'm a fan about this is when it is open, the tools on there are on the inside so I can grip this. And I'm not using the inside of a tool or whatever, a knife that's there as the grip. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, one-handed operation, very important for me. Other pieces on the inside here, I've got my hey, camouflage stuff. It actually actually does match the camo on the pouch, so that's pretty cool. Hank's come in handy quite a bit here. You, know, you can clean your lens, clean your glasses, 
uh, your phone. That's honestly one of the big things for me. Get that little smudge, clean it up. Got to have a hank. If you're not into hanks yet, you know, go out and check these out here. These, Like I said, this is the awesome hank gear. Pretty awesome stuff. Microfiber on one side. And uh, this is going to be your more rough maybe for cleaning things. Definitely get yourself a hank if you don't. Moving back on the inside here. This is, uh, of course, also made in USA. On this side here, I've got the Olight. Got to have a flashlight. If you don't have a flashlight, try carrying one. See how much you love saving battery on your phone. This is the i3T from Olight. This doesn't have to have any special batteries, any special chargers. I can get a battery anywhere I want. The gas station, my friend's drawer, the grocery store, whatever. This is going to have a battery that I can find very easy. Biggest reason why I like that flashlight. On the other side here, so I've got quite a few odds and ends. Chapstick, got to have chapstick. I've got some black dice. Or maybe the kids want to play some. I want to take some cool pictures. I need some props. And on the other side here, I've got my coin that I helped design with Awesome Hank. This is the Skull Island pirate map. It's got a compass on one side and the map on the other. I'm really ecstatic that I got to be a part of this design. I designed the Hank that goes with it as well. If you want awesome Hank, you want a coin that matches it, super cool in pictures. Plus, it's kind of like you know a reminder for me. It's find your treasure. Find your treasure can mean many things here. Whether your treasure is finding that grail knife, whether your treasure is, you know, finding, you know, faith in your friends and family, just a good token of a reminder. Coins are pretty cool. The other coin I've got in here is the Pete's Pirate Life token coin with a leather slip. Super cool. On the back side, it says the best things in life aren't things. Just another reminder. Very cool. I've always wanted this, so very happy I got it gifted to me. A very big Pete's Pirate Life. Peter McKinnon has inspired me in so many ways, brought me back into photography, brought me back into just, you know, being creative again. Which on the side here, I've got a stylus pen. It's got a little tip on there, so if I want to do some Lightroom editing on the phone while I'm out and about. And on this side, the rail piece for me. The Notorious Beer Bomb. This thing is awesome. This is a grail piece to me, just like my Ramon Chavez. It's titanium. This piece was really hard to get my hands on. If you know anything about the Notorious Beer Bomb, you know that his drops are incredibly hard to get. The Notorious Beer Bomb, this is a tool that you can do whatever you want with it, however you feel. Not really my thing. My piece is just it's great in photos. It's got a bottle opener, just like everything else in the world. It's got a scraper a pry tool, another bit holder if you want to put your bits in there and tighten up a detent on your knife or anything like that. So those are what I carry for me. These are my everyday carry items, things that I don't want to leave the house without not having with me. Very important pieces. There's other things like uh, my watch. This is a Seiko dive watch. I'm a huge 007 fan, so dive watches were important to me to, you know, they look great on a wedding. I can wear it wherever I want. I just can't afford a Rolex or an Omega or anything like that. So this one looks good. I'm very happy with it. That's another piece that, you know, you could consider EDC, everyday carry. Something uh, I do alternate quite a bit, just like my knives. Uh, you're going to see that uh, quite a bit in a rotation for an everyday carry. I've got plenty of knives that uh, take a lot of my pocket space. So if I'm not carrying the Ramon Chavez, I'm going to be carrying you know, another knife like the Benchmade Bugout, uh, the Spyrico Para 3. I've got another Benchmade called the Grizzly Ridge. Super big fan of that. You know, whether it's November, it's hunting season, that's probably the knife that's going to spend the most time in my pocket. If you have made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you a lot. If you could like and subscribe, I know everybody's saying that, but it would mean a lot to me. It's going to motivate me to make more everyday carry videos and hit me up in the comments. Let's talk everyday carry. You know, I'm going to reply back to you because 
That's what I am. I'm all about the community. You know, everybody have a great day and make sure you swing that axe. Is that dust back in there that whole time? Yikes. Glad I got a hang.